Hello, this is Rene Esquivel, and you're tuned into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. Now, in this video, I'm going to show how you can pair unifying dongles, those are the ones given by the star inside of an orange box, to compatible unifying devices. The process is very similar to what you've seen in my video for pairing non-unifying uh, dongles to their uh, to the keyboard and mouse only it's a different utility so I'll show you how to do that I'll walk you through the entire process on the Windows side and on the Mac side let's get right into it and please give me a like and subscribe I appreciate all the support I've been getting from you and I will do the same for you if you've got a channel of your own and leave likes uh, as well okay let's get right into it Okay, many of you have seen my video on how to pair uh, a non-unifying Logitech dongle uh, with the with its with the same model keyboard and mouse, just a mismatch with the dongle. Um, but the question has come up: What about when it's a unifying receiver? A unifying receiver is a multi-device receiver. They are pricier as receivers go. This is a unifying receiver. And you can tell it's a unifying receiver by the logo, the uh, star inside of the orange square. And likewise here, you see uh, the same unifying. Well, they're different size form factors, but that doesn't matter. Uh, they are still unifying receivers okay and so the question would come up what what if on your uh, unifying keyboard or it could be a keyboard mouse separate combo this one this logitech one has a mouse trackpad built into it uh, what happens if you have a mismatch you just don't have the right dongle to go with it but it is a unifying dongle and it's a unifying keyboard so can you pair them and the answer is absolutely yes uh, we're going to walk through this on the win on the windows side with windows 11 and we'll also walk on walk through the same process with mac os okay so um you want to open up your browser as you see i've done here Type in Logitech Download Unifying Software and do your search on that. And the link you want is this one here. Unifying Software Logitech Support Download. So you click on that. And it brings up Unifying Software. And it may already default to Windows 11, but if not, as you see here, as I'm doing, you can pick the OS of choice. Well, for right now, we're going to do Windows. We do Windows 11, but you can see the utility goes back as far as Windows 7. Okay. Um, well, that's already the correct one that we picked here. Let's see what it shows for software. Okay, I don't see anything, so let's go with Windows 10. There we go. And it says that one does work on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So let's just go ahead and download that now. And let's open that file up. And uh, confirm that will allow the app to make changes. And let's go ahead and uh, click the I accept the terms of the license agreement. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and click install. It's a small application. And once that's done, we can minimize the browser. Notice that it did launch the unifying software. Go ahead and click next. 
and it says, okay, plug in one unifying receiver. The target system I'm using here is a Windows Pocket PC. And so I take my uh, unifying dongle there, and I plug that in. Okay, now that that's plugged in, Um, I go ahead and turn on the keyboard just so that you can see when I turned it on it's not responsive okay not responsive at all you don't see the mouse doing anything okay now um, wait a few seconds until it says the next button appears well it has appeared so I'll click next and then on the device you want to connect it to uh, it says um, move the slider to the off position and then put it into the on position. And excellent. It detected the keyboard K400 and it says uh, type in some characters here. And so type in Logitech just for test. And it shows up there. And, um, and you can see me moving the mouse. And I can confirm that, yes, that works. And click Next. And finish. And we're done. That's all it takes on the Windows side. Uh, let's go ahead and try it on the Mac side now. Now, uh, for this, uh, for test purposes here, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this this uh, unifying receiver. It's a older one, slightly taller, and um, I'm going to go ahead and, and plug that into my Mac Mini over here. And while it's uh, plugged in now, you can see that. I'm typing on the keyboard, moving the mouse, and there's no response on the Mac side. So we know we need to pair it. So let's go ahead now and um, on the Mac, let's do that same search string, Logitech Download Unifying Software. Let's try here, Unifying Software Logitech Support. This will be the link we'll click. Click on that. Yes, that's what I want. Unifying software and right over here, even though it's not very clear, click on that and you can see Mac and let's go for the latest because I do run the latest. And now we're ready to download it. Okay, now let's go ahead and download that. And do you want to allow downloads? Yes, allow it. It's a small file. It's going to have this installer. Let's Double click that. Unifying installers and app downloaded. Yes, I confirm I want to open it. I'll be guided through the installation process. Click continue, continue, agree. Use installer for all users. That's fine. Uh, installation type. I'll go with default. And let me go ahead and uh, uh, type in my password here. Uh, Okay, I'm going to open system settings because I would like to receive keystrokes from an app to grant access. Let me open that up. And I will grant access. And I will approve that with biometrics. Okay, I'm going to have to quit and reopen the Logitech Unifying Software. Okay, and now it's the software is launched and since I've already plugged in the dongle it already uh, is ready for me to click next so I click next and same process now here we shut it off and then turn it on and 
now it has that wonderful pop-up and just for kicks I'll go ahead and type in Logitech and with the mouse cursor I'll confirm the characters I just saw uh, click next and click finish and there we are